Hey, 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 this is Kurt the Boat Doctor. I gotta shut that window just a hair, a little bit farther ahead so it seals. If you have it like that, you're gonna have water in there. So you just gotta slide that ahead of here and I'll do that when I get in the boat. I'll probably have it open. It's warm out here today. And I'll show you all the fancy features. Now this is getting a different trailer, so I'm not gonna get into the trailer so much. But this is a 2024 Stapy Craft 2250 walk through beautiful boat wrap rails got the tilt down anchor system right here or i mean the pulpit i didn't see a windlass in here got the ladder which is cool if you're swimming you can do the boat doctor knot tied around here for a grab rope and then just make a little loop that you can pull yourself up <laughs> so that comes in handy beach in you got room you can get through if you put something in the bow you can get through to that without having the door open up towards the bow you got that's your anchor drain you got straights you got reverse chines you got more of these bends you've got the stronger the boat is you got rub rail rub rail and this has got the arrow design that goes like this it with this it flanges this way so what it does is takes this water and shoots it this way right over here and this keeps it down so you don't have the water coming up here and then going up or going in because of that arrow design these are chambered you got the life ring and you got your two tubes on each side and you got a floor so they're virtually unsinkable good cleats for winning uh, leaning window dual wipers crab dab it there's your floor drain these your front life ring your side chambers so those you shouldn't those bottom two you shouldn't have anything come in it you do have the trim tabs good idea got the Garmin probably 56 UHD 250 V6 got a 15 by uh, 15 by 15 uh, stainless is stainless steel prop shaft drive shaft now this uh, you can get a bullet flusher you, this needs two it one goes here and then your standard flusher goes here the one here goes to this motor as well but if you don't have one of those just tape that off and then put and then full force on your water and make sure you got a lot of water pressure these are your freshwater flush both motors have them undo that this is a stop put your garden hose full force on this one only when the motor's warm it's like doing a dish in the sink if you put cold water on it it's just the stuff's going to stick to the plate that lasagna ain't going nowhere so you need to get the water hot and then it will dissolve so the same principle with flushing that using that two coats of clear two coats of primer their special paint you must have put the gear case on this one this that's a bait kit it looks like to me to make it a 25 inch shaft motor you got a t99 tiller 11 by 7 25 yamaha gear case <laughs> oil drains over here grease fittings here these you need to grease like oh if you use them I'd say maybe twice a year on these. You pull this out and you grease these. It's in your instruction book. Inspection caps. See, like that one ain't sealed. I can see it from right here. So you, you'll wonder why you got water in the boat. This needs to be lined up and tightened up. And don't you don't have to over tighten those either, by the way. Make sure that one's sealed. Huh, that one ain't sealed either so we better get over here and this was made for twins but i would i mean this bracket is that's where these holes are but i would not run a twin on this boat uh, it, it handled it i don't know it just took away from the handling of the boat i think it's a much better system with a single motor and this is plenty power you can load the hell out of this boat and look at all the room you got on this one here unbelievable Sea Star uh, hydraulic ram cylinder. Garmin, way to go, buddy. You know the drill. Garmin's the best, in my opinion. I don't get no spoofs from it, gifts from it. I set up them all Magellan, Ray, Furuno, <clears throat> Lawrence, Imrad, but Garmin for the riggers, for me, and for the customer. They're so much more intuitive, faster, more advanced. So he's got two screens on there looks like 12s that other one could be a 16 but hard to tell from here vhf radio did it just right it was kind of a good idea to put that where he put that there that second screen because now you can see it where anywhere in the boat and he's got a wireless remote for the autopilot 
So there you go. These had a friction setting here, but we had to take it off because a lot of people will forget it and they'll tighten that thing up and then they'll do the autopilot and you're putting a lot of pressure on that. You can burn those up if you, so we take those off. And then I will go through the boat